we call the simpler way of solving this problem as the matrix approach. Let us walk through the approach in a series of steps. First, we will create a matrix of R and S values. Next, let us start filling in the matrix with the corresponding CRCS values. For R equals 0, S equals 0, I would have C0, C0. For R equals 0, S equals 1, I would have C0, C1 and so on. Now we will refer to the elements along the diagonal of the matrix as the diagonal elements. Elements above the diagonal as the above diagonal elements and the elements below the diagonal as the below diagonal elements. Now it should be clear by observation that the elements above the diagonal and the elements below the diagonals are equal in value. For example, this C1, C0 equals this C0, C1. This C2, C0 equals this C0, C2. This C2, C1 will equal this C1, C2. Therefore, below diagonal elements equal above diagonal elements. And if you observe carefully, this is also equal to the sum of the terms asked in the question. If this is not clear, you can go to the previous section and see the expansion that we derived for this formula. Let's call this as S. So our question is reduced to finding out the value of S. Now we know that sum of all the terms in the matrix equals sum of the terms along the diagonal plus sum of the terms below the diagonal plus sum of the terms above the diagonal. Now we have already seen this is equal to s, this is equal to s. Now we are concerned with some of the terms along the diagonal. As you can see, the terms are c0 square, c1 square, c2 square and so on until cn square. So I can very conveniently write this as summation of cr square r varying from 0 to n. While for the sum of all the terms in the matrix, this can be written as double summation CRCS, R varying from 0 to n, S varying from 0 to n. Basically the disconnected sigma that we talked about earlier. Thus my equation becomes double summation CRCS, R from 0 to n, S from 0 to n equals summation CR square plus 2 times S. We have already solved for this double summation and know that this equals 2 to the power 2n and this summation equals 2ncn. Hence my s which is the sum of the connected sigma in the question becomes 2 to the power 2n minus 2ncn divided by 2 which is my required answer. Thus in the matrix approach we learned that this double summation connected sigma can be found out by summing up all the elements in the matrix, subtracting the sum of the diagonal elements from it and dividing the whole by 2. So let's have a quiz based on this to test your understanding. What is the value of double summation CRCS where R is more than equal to 0, less than equal to S, S less than equal to N? Please note the less than equal to sign here. Your options are the following. 